Tonight, the CDC is expanding its travel warning, urging Americans to avoid non-essential travel to all parts of China, not just the outbreak's epicenter. A senior administration official says the White House is considering more travel restrictions. Tonight, Americans are scrambling to get out of Wuhan, China, on a charter flight organized by the State Department. I'm more than a little concerned about what would happen if one or both of us got sick um, and had no way to get to the hospital. For Jacob Wilson from Louisiana, who's working at a tech startup there. Don't cry, don't cry, don't get too close. A heart-wrenching realization. No space for him on the flight out. If there's a bigger plane that could fit everybody, I, I definitely want to be on it. That plane is now scheduled to arrive in California tomorrow. Today, the Health and Human Services Secretary said all options have to be on the table. Americans should know that this is a potentially very serious public health threat. This is a very fast-moving, constantly changing situation. Health officials have now expanded screening at airports from 5 to 20 across the U.S. as the coronavirus outbreak grows rapidly in China. Authorities there are now reporting more than 100 deaths and more than 4,500 cases, up nearly 60 percent from yesterday. Today, officials from the World Health Organization met with the Chinese government, which agreed to allow international experts into the country as soon as possible. It's not widely spreading outside of China, um, but again, we have to be prepared for in case it would. Today, United Airlines announced it was suspending some of its China flights next month. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.